Welcome again. In this session, we are reading John chapter 9, verses 1 through 12. Jesus heals a man born blind. As he passed by, he saw a man blind from his birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Now, I've got to stop here for a second because you might say, why did the disciples ask this question? Who sinned, his man or or his parents, that he was born blind. Now, you got to understand as well, and I say this many times, um, but uh, for those of you who are watching this for the first time, these are Jewish men. They were raised in a Jewish culture, and as such, they were taught Torah, they were taught the Nevi'im, the prophets, and the Ketuvim, the writings. And in this teaching, you hear about how the Lord punishes people with different kinds of affliction because of sin in their life. Now, that's evident not only in the Old Testament, may I add, but also in the New Testament as well. I mean, you look at Paul, for example, when he said those who don't drink worthily of the Lord's table, you can even be, you can even be basically struck with death, okay? You can be sick and die just because of the way that you celebrate, or should I say, don't celebrate correctly the uh, the Lord's table. You know, another example is Herod missed the beat, you know, when it comes to praising God. Well, he was struck dead right on the spot. Ananias and Sapphira, those who were part of the church, were struck dead for their little white lie. So you need to understand and read the book of Revelation, okay? There's a lot of stuff in there about plagues that, that God has sent upon mankind, and also plagues, and also curses that God has sent upon the church, okay? Read Revelation chapter 2 and 3. This is a universal belief, like you do something wrong, God can afflict you with some kind of disease or something, okay? So that's why the disciples asked Jesus, who sinned? They knew that sin and sickness, or sin and disease, had a connection, okay? The disease was the a product of sin or the, the curse that came because of sin, okay? And that's why when Jesus forgave sins, they were healed because he excused their sin. Therefore, the, the curse that was upon them because of that sin was lifted, okay? Let's continue. Jesus answered, this man didn't sin, nor did his parents but that the works of God might be revealed in him. So here, I need to stop here again because I need to make it very clear. In this instance, okay, that's not to say that every instance is like this, but in this particular instance, Jesus made it clear that this blindness, this disability was upon the man, not because of his sin, nor because of his parents' sin. Now, you need to understand there are many, many reasons why sicknesses, diseases, and disabilities are upon people, okay? One being that there is sin there somewhere, okay? But here's an instance where it's not caused by sin. So, let's see what Jesus said. Jesus went on to say, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. While I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground, made mud with the saliva, anointed the man's eyes with the mud, and said, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. So he went away, washed, and came back seeing. How many of you would like to have a preacher spit in mud and take that mud and put it on your eyes if you have some problem with your eyes? Here's another question. How many of you would have washed it off if Jesus actually spit in mud and wiped it on your eyes? I know some of you would say, I wouldn't wash that off. I have Jesus' own spit on my eyes. I would love to have that. But Jesus commanded the man to wash it off. Verse 8, The neighbors, therefore, and those who saw that he was blind before, said, Isn't this who sat and begged? Others were saying, It is he. Still others were saying, he looks like him. He said, I am he. They therefore were asking him, how were your eyes opened? 
He answered, a man called Yeshua, Jesus, made mud, anointed my eyes, and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went away and washed, and I received sight. Then they asked him, Where is he? He said, I don't know. So, you know, a lot of things we can pull from this passage. There are different purposes for sickness and disease, or I should say different causes of sicknesses and diseases. And a lot are caused by sin. The, the disciples knew that. And by the way, Jesus knew that as well, or else he would have rebuked his disciples and said, what do you mean, you know, this man's blind because of sin, because of his sin or his parents' sin? Don't be ridiculous. No, he didn't, he didn't rebuke them at all. He knew that that is a universal principle. Yes, sin, you can expect some kind of curse upon your life, okay? So Jesus didn't rebuke the, the disciples for saying that. However, he made it clear that this man was not blind because of sin, okay? He was blind for another reason. So another thing we can pull out of this uh, portion here is that there are different ways that Jesus healed. You know, sometimes Jesus laid his hands on people. Sometimes Jesus just spoke the word. Sometimes the people, the person that was healed wasn't even present, okay? That Jesus just spoke the word, and that was it. And here, Jesus didn't use his hands. He didn't speak the word. He spit in the mud, okay? So God uses all kinds of different things. And, you know, you, you might say, Wow, that's really crazy. Why would God, you know, tell tell someone to spit in the mud? Like spitting in the mud, making mud and out of out of saliva, that's not, you know, that's not hygienic. That's not clean. You know, uh that you know, the uh the health authorities wouldn't be uh wouldn't be happy about that, you know. But you gotta understand, God does things in ways that are not always your traditional you know, well accepted, nice little thing, nice little ways, okay? Sometimes God works in ways that seem absurd, that seem ridiculous, that seem, you know, crazy, okay? So God can do whatever He wants whenever He wants to. So don't miss the next teaching. I'm going to be teaching about how the Pharisees respond to that. We're going to be reading the rest of this chapter. And by the way, this is very interesting. John chapter 9, and I know, you know, on one hand, uh, you know, when John wrote this, he didn't write it in chapters or verses. It was later on divided in chapters and verses. But having said that, John chapter 9 is what I would call the blindness chapter. You know, starts out with physical blindness or natural blindness and as we get on and we read more, we're going to read about spiritual blindness as well. So once again, don't miss it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, call unto God. Call unto God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Don't forget Him. Don't forget to read the Scriptures. Don't forget to study, to show yourself approved, and to study so that you will know more about God, so that you will be more blessed, and you can walk with Him, and your walk would be more meaningful than you could ever imagine. Thanks again for watching. Blessings.